Maybe he had intentions. He had good intentions. That. Yeah. There were intentions. <laughs> he, he may still be a little naive. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Still, he's still figuring it out. Possible. Let me finish rearranging everything on my desk here. I need a bigger desk. <laughs> you should build one. Build it into the wall. The pro thing is, I want to do that. The problem is, with my current size and layout of my house, mm -hmm. there's not a way to do that in any meaningful way. What if you turned it into, like, a Murphy desk? Would that be possible? Um... Or, and, and now this may sound weird, but just hear me out. Or a chandelier desk. Where it is basically, you have the desk lower down from the ceiling, you lock it into place, you do your work. When you're done, you unlatch it and just let it raise up and then move the legs or whatever out of the way. Then you have all that space where the desk was for whatever else you want. No, like part of the problem is, I mean, our, my house is tiny to begin with, but where my desk is set up is basically what was designed to be the uh, dining room. And there's also mm. one of the main connecting rooms for the house. So I have little room to actually expand without, you know, blocking walking room. I gotcha. It's one of the joys of living in a house that's like 700 square feet. Every inch counts. Yep. <laughs> yep that's also that what she said. <laughs> yeah, or maybe that's what maybe that's what he said. Yes, that might her. be what he said actually. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so other forms of desk I don't think will help other than I just need a bigger house to do it. <laughs> mm. There's just not physically room for a larger desk. But perhaps in the future. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, if I can help you try to figure out a solution, man, I'm more than happy to lend my time and my my crafting skill. Unless you've got a way to, you know, bend space and create more space than that is actually in here. Uh, well, <laughs> he's working I... on it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> can I just say no comment and we can just leave it at that? <laughs> <laughs> I get it, I get it. You're not supposed to, uh, you know, that stuff's classified. Hey, I'll just put it to you this way, okay? <laughs> I have over 2,500 square feet in my house. Mm -hmm. Okay? According to the schematics, we have 1,400. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I <laughs> bent space-time, but obviously something happened. Mm -hmm. The numbers, they don't add up. That's right. There's an additional 1,100 square feet in this house that is completely unaccounted for. Well, if you can <laughs> figure out how you're doing it and let me know, that would be great. Yeah, when, when well, we get the, fir <laughs> the first thing that you have to do, I've found, is have somebody who is incompetent at drawing up blueprints. <laughs> that helps. Yeah, yeah, I bet that would. Yeah, yeah. Basically, basically, what they did was is they they had two different options for this house. Mm -hmm. They had one that was just the first floor, mm -hmm. and that's it. And then they had one that was first floor plus a bonus room in the second floor with a bonus bedroom that was optional and a bonus bathroom that was optional. And the person who was getting this house built had all that shit done. Mm. So, 
we we've got like an extra like 1100 square feet just upstairs nice and that's that's how it happened But yeah, when I had to argue with the damn idiots about the AC unit being too small. Oh no, it's perfectly it's perfectly made for your house. It you know, it can handle up to fifteen hundred square feet and you're only <laughs> at fourteen hundred. And I'm like, downstairs maybe. <laughs> They're like, wait, you have a second floor? I'm like, Yup. They're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think it's about time to get this party started. <laughs> it did not save our initiative from last week, but that's okay. Let's roll again. Fresh initiatives. <laughs> Yay! I feel like, I feel it like, wasn't, wasn't it smooth, really like the worst, like, initiative bonus that got, like, the top roll last time? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I had, I remember I actually had a pretty damn smoking initiative yeah, i think we all had pretty all right initiatives um but i don't remember exactly what it was so i don't either yeah. also just a heads up guys i'm gonna have to be off at a hard 9 p.m tonight so. 9 p.m all right yeah. not a problem i say after this combat's over ending time should be pretty flexible so cool cool figure out where my initiatives at again it's on the main page yeah, I had to figure out where it was out on the main page. Far right, top. Hey. Mm -hmm. That's my minus one. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> uh, Y'all did a lot better than I did, so. I doubled yours. Yeah. All right. So... Um, beginning combat. Uh, your surprise guest seems to be the, uh, one that is up first. And we also, uh, oh, I don't, I don't know about everybody else, but I cannot see other than the, um, the tokens around me. Everything is black. I should be I... Everything is fine for me. I can see it as it was last week. Let me see. I, I did a bunch of updates since last week, so... It, something may... Maybe didn't pull over quite right. Yeah, if it didn't, I'll just refresh the page and see if that takes care of the issue. That would be a bad idea. Yeah, tr try refreshing, because... Yeah. Everyone's vision looks like it should be, right? Yeah, mine's working fine. Yeah, I think mine's good. Cause you you lit a torch last week, Wayfo, and so you should have that giving you light. Oh dear. There we go, and that's back up now. Uh, nope, still not seeing shit. Did you oh, open you gotta in... open your eyes, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you open it in Firefox instead of Chrome again? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you gotta open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. All right, well, oh, way for my word, I cannot... Well, I'm, I'm dead last anyhow, so you go ahead with that comment. Yeah. <laughs> Touché. I'll catch up. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, uh, the half elf here is gonna hop up onto the cart and uh, throw a dart at Sephic. Please, okay, all right, cool. Say, like, please, Jesus Christ, do not throw it at me. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not here for me, but I'm just, I'm just saying. I privately rolled dice. <laughs> And she scores a critical hit. Oh. Oh, by the heavens! Yeah. 
Oh, give me a moment. One of my settings did not copy over after the update. Oh, that's because they... Oh, it should be there. Uh... Yep, there we go. And magic now. happens. <laughs> I can. Uh, I'll figure that out later. Okay. So she throws a dark critical hit. Um... Suffolk is up. Give it up! We've got you surrounded! <laughs> Just don't throw any more dots. Scholars. <laughs> <laughs> He is going to uh, step forward and uh, with a whirlwind, uh, he's going to attack Wei Fo. And. He's going to attack. What's your face? Uh, Daylar. Daylar. That one fucker. That fucking hippie. All right. Does, that... um, does, sorry, does Foundry have a, a publicly listed initiative or no? The uh, fist in the upper right? Yeah. Really? Yes. And you can right-click it, and it'll make a little pop-out window. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, got it. Cool. Thanks. Yep. All right. Um, that 19 hits Wei Fo for five points of damage. Um, that brings us to Biltrum. Oh, does this thing do the the hit points adjustment automatically? Uh, I don't have it uh, set up to do that at the moment. Okay. All right. Well, because I, I, I just jumped in and immediately changed my hit points, and I was like, wait a minute. Figured I'd ask. Um, Let's say what else would have hurt you since last time we rested? Unless I'm just forgetting something that happened last time. Talking to me? Talking to Wayfo. I'm, uh... <clears throat> I'm kind of like, Oh! Oh dear! I'm going to, uh, go ahead and cast me a little firebolt there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, it's so good thing uh, a <laughs> Yeah, so as you go to cast a spell, apparently the rickety old uh, wagon under you uh, breaks even more, and you uh, fall off balance just as the spell is cast. Okay. Do I have enough balance left to, like, hide behind the, the, the cart uh, and not get hit by any darts? Probably not, unless you've got, you know, something like a Rogues typically have that sort of ability. Damn. The snowy stable is now the fiery stable. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess here I shall stand then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. I see him mark right now. My mouse is being weird. See, like, am I highlighting anything? I'm sorry. I always see your eye, your cursor floating around. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Hold on. Sorry. Is it my turn now? Oh. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Everything just went, what? what yeah, happened it, to the screen? I was, that was my bad. I was trying to re-enable one of the mods I accidentally disabled earlier. Oh. oh should okay. come back in a moment. Dang it, Brandon, no GM client connected. Dang it, I can't cheat. It's not my GM client, apparently. <laughs> the only person allowed to have God mode on is Colin. God damn it. All right. All right. Uh, yes, yeah, so Daylar, it is your turn. Uh, let me see. Oops. If I were to throw a rock at him from within five feet, would I have disadvantage? Uh, I believe range attacks are disadvantage when you're within yeah. five feet. You gotta back up to do that. That seems a little silly, so, uh... I'm just gonna drop the rocks, I'm just gonna cut him with a scimitar. How about that? <laughs> yeah! Oh, because of the thing I wasn't targeted anymore. But I have advantage! Do? Yeah. And with the advantage, that does hit. <laughs> Back to the corner with you. Get away from me. And uh, I think that's all I got for since I had to drop my rocks and unsheath my sword. All right. Uh, way foe. Cease and desist this action. <laughs> uh, you do have it. Yeah, you so see, you got advantage. With the advantage, it hits. Six points of damage. Uh, the half elf is going to just simply. Toss another dart. Worked well enough last time. Privately rolled ice. My dead. <laughs> Let's see. Suffolk is up. Uh, Daylar did more damage to him, so he's going to focus on you. Oh, no! Uh, he's going to uh, pull out an ice longsword and do a, 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 a failure of an attack there. Yeah, I wish I could see his failures. Oh, hey, he can actually attack twice. Look at that. That's cheating. Now look what you've done. You've pissed him off. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> uh, as you uh, fall unconscious from that, it just says to you, it'll teach you to mock me. 
Man, can, can we make it so we can at least see the attacks against us? Because I don't know what damage I took of the attacks rolled. You just set up my oh, though. Oh, it's which... all showing privately rolled, and so it's like... Oh, yeah, my bad. I... Am I... You said I'm unconscious, but I don't know from what... <laughs> Oh, uh, it's just a bunch of question marks. <laughs> this is um, God mode. He's a he's immortal. Ah! There, I can actually reveal that. Oh, he That's crit nice. me. He didn't oh, crit you, no. Uh, he rolled max, max damage. damage. Yeah. Oh. That's a nice uh, feature. That's the nice feature that I just found out about is if I roll private messages, you know, like private rolls like that, I can just right click on it and reveal oh, that's it. Good. Yeah, see, I feel nice. like that's really good for attacks and all that, so that way we can see. Yeah. yeah, I meant to have that on public. It, Of all the settings that did save, the one that I had on private from some other stuff I was doing last week saved that. Of course. <laughs> of course. All right. Uh, Beltram. All right, let's see what these hot hands can do this time. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know if I should bother trying to do that. <laughs> should... You couldn't do Dude. worse. <laughs> you say that. You say that now. Um, why the fuck is it not letting me expand and contract? Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna. My pop out's fucking freezing. Hold on. Let's try this again. Spellbook. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, attacking, uh, Sephic Caltro. Alright. I've got to just gotta uh, do whatever I can with anything that requires no physicality at all. <laughs> hey! <laughs> He failed that save, so uh, he'll take uh, four points of damage. Okay. Um, and then subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw it makes before the end of my next turn. Yep. Cool. Uh, Daylar. Uh, time for a death saving throw. Oh, we can <laughs> Ah, fuck. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, fuck. I believe I can recover nat 20 incoming. Wayfo? Um, drinking a potion is still a bonus action, correct? Bonus action to drink for yourself, yes. All right. Now, the only question is how to use it. Um, you should be able to uh, just click on it, either the dice icon, uh, like click Got on the it. picture. Yeah. There we there go. You go. All right. So that healed me up to max. Very nice. And then I am going... If I can... Okay, I cannot move my character. I think it's because the game's still set to pause. Whoops. Yes. There we go. Alright. I'm moving the character over to here. Alright. And then Wayfo is going to try to punch him in the nose. Well, that'll do it. Let's see. 
across those attacks, 11 points of damage. All right. Uh, he took 11 points of damage from behind, so Sephik's going to turn around and attack behind him. That is two hits for 17 points of damage. Uh, Beltram. Uh, I'll say... We, we can stop him! I'll jump down from my little cart. <laughs> hey, two more steps away. <laughs> he gets away. <laughs> we can win it, guys! I'm backing up to the edge of the room. I believe. <laughs> and I'll cast another Mind Slimmer. And since it's still during my turn, he should still have a subtracted d4 from his save, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's the end of your next turn, so yes. For all of that, it's a fail anyway. Nice. Uh, so five more points of damage, and next turn, minus a d4 again. Sick. Daylark, yeah. don't die. Nat Is it one, nat one. Nat one. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Easily on the floor. He got hit once by, a, by an ice sword, just like. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> just, literally, I'm imagining like those glitches that happen in like Skyrim and Oblivion, where like you cut someone and you kill them like with the hit, and their body just like slams. They just keep gurgling like, and making noises and like shaking. Yeah. Yeah. So they keep dying noises while they're dead. <laughs> Yeah, this is going on. Almost instantly across the floor. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> At least she has advantage, right? Yep. Did you yeah. just skip over me? Um. Yeah, yeah I probably skipped over you for some reason. Uh. So go ahead, Wayfo. I'm just curious, is it possible for me to set his ass on fire? Um, try. I would like to try. Not sure exactly what I need to do for that. <laughs> I feel like a guy named Sephic is probably flammable. Um... Uh, are you just going to use your torch to... Yeah, I mean, I've got the yeah. torch. I, I'm, okay. I'm just like, I'm just going to beat him with experience here. Alright, uh, so let's make a melee attack with your torch. Um... Um... I will use spear then. It's similar for the for the modifiers, at least. Uh, I'm looking up an improvised weapon right now. Um... Torch is basically a club, isn't it? Yeah, basically. So, yeah. D20 plus strength. I'll say plus proficiency as well. So whatever gets you that assortment of modifiers would be fine. Um, spear should work for that. Just yep. And I... it's got advantage in case I in case I need it. Yep. Um, yeah, that, that'll hit. Um, yeah, uh, we'll... Uh, 
Attack, fell beast. <laughs> I will say that's enough to light him on fire. Oh, that's cool. He's got a little fire icon next to him. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, so he is on fire. He'll take 1d4 damage each turn unless he uses an action to put it out. Okay. He uses an action and goes rolls. Goes and, and then Alara the whooped his ass pretty solidly. Yep, so let's see. That's that fire damage. Plus Alara's damage. Um, yeah, that was... Eight. All right. That's through Alar's turn. Uh, Suffolk's turn. Um, he's going to pull out his... Uh, ice dagger again. Gonna make an attack against. Okay. There we go. An attack against uh, Wei Fo. And an attack against Alara. That's four damage to Wei Fo and misses Alara. Uh, Biltrum. Uh, that's right. Stick it to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you could try to help Dalar. Just saying. <laughs> Poor bastard's dying over there. <laughs> Got a fucking seizure. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, I should. My problem is if I get hit even once, I'm also going down. <laughs> oh god. Do I even have any... I'm doing a quick mind check here to see if I can remember if I fucking, like, have anything in my inventory that I could get him up with. <laughs> I can still open and close this door in my death, at least. <laughs> um, you the, only, the, the, only, the only thing I have that could possibly fucking work to like heal you would be maybe, maybe an alchemist's kit <laughs> <laughs> does that have enough like tubing and like I don't know like wraps to do a first aid kit in six <laughs> seconds <laughs> um like, what what kind of a medical check do I need to pass to make that work? Um, <laughs> I don't think an alchemist kid's going to have quite what you need to aid in that check, uh, but you can make a DC 10 medicine check to stabilize him uh, as an action if you wish to uh, go over there and attempt to do so. Alright, I'm gonna realize. You just see me head. fucking shaking like I was goddamn yeah, electrocuted yeah, yeah. still. I'm gonna get, I start, as he starts to pass out of my view as I step back, I have a huge guilt trip and just. <laughs> oh god, why am I doing this? Just <laughs> Zigzag <laughs> around. And I'll fucking. <laughs> let's see what happens here, real quick. <laughs> you just need a medicine check, that's it. I think so to stabilize me. Okay. Yeah, that that will make it so he doesn't have to make another failed. Death. <laughs> it's a plus three too. What is All right, uh, Daylar is unconscious nice. but stable. Hey, I'm not dying over here. Well, <laughs> physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole time I'm like, curses, curses, curses. Why am I? What? What am I doing? Um. Managing you up and like trying to fix the the gash on your head or whatever from the ice stab yeah. <laughs> your eyes are like crossed and like slapping your face around so you're, you're fine Daylar no death saves unless he hits you for 
uh, less than nine points of damage out of spite. <laughs> uh, you better hope he doesn't hit you for more than nine points of damage, otherwise you're just dead. Honestly, I have expected some attack to fucking be on me. <laughs> he seems like the kind of guy that would hold a grudge. If he didn't have two other people on either side of him beating him, he probably would have. <laughs> but being that you were on the ground unconscious, you're really not much of a you know, threat at the moment. Fucking spiteful bastard. He's got bigger fish to fry. Yes, apparently Wayfo's metal fists fucking hurt when they hit. <laughs> yeah. I bet they do. I have yet to roll anything other than a six for damage. <laughs> Big damage coming out. Oh, yeah. All right, and he gets two points of fire damage as well. 